In this chapter, we covered Drupal's out-of-the-box content types, pages, and articles. We also went over the publishing options that are available by default to these content types, and those publishing options will determine how and where the content created in these content types will display on the site. So as a brief recap, pages are meant for static content. So we'll head over to a page that we find in the menu item here. By default, pages do not have comments, they don't have images, and they don't have tags. They don't display on the front page, and they can easily be placed in the menu system, as is the case with this particular page that we created. Articles, on the other hand, are meant for temporal items, news, blog posts, anything that might be ephemeral or have a sense of urgency to it. By default, this content type has comments enabled. It allows for tags, it has a main image, and it displays on the front page by default as well. What shows on the front page, however, is a summary, not the entirety of the content. Any content on the site can either be published or unpublished. We'll take a look at that. So I can edit this piece of content, and then I'm going to save it as unpublished. When content is not published, it is not visible to the public, and it typically displays with a pink background behind the content area in order to allow you to know that this particular piece of content is not published. I'm going to pop over to a different web browser, Safari, where I am not logged in so that you can see that this piece of content no longer displays for the public. I'm going to reload and gluten sensitivity will disappear. The basic editing form for a piece of content, which we'll now go back to, gives you access to a lot of publishing controls. For example, you can change the authoring information. So you can set this content as being authored by a different user or on a different date at a different time. You can also change the URL of the content to give it a friendly path. If the content has commenting available to it, then you can determine whether or not this particular item allows comments to be open or closed. And you can also set the promotion options for a particular piece of content to determine whether or not it shows on the front page in the River of News, if you are using the default front page settings in your Drupal site. And you can determine whether or not the content is sticky at the top of lists which means that regardless of whatever other sort options are governing the view of items that you're looking at, the sticky items will come to the top whether or not they fit within those sort criteria. I'm going to go ahead and republish this page. And if we go back to the home page, we'll see that it appears on the home page as a sticky item at the top. This river of news display that you see on a site is the default for a Drupal site. It is very rare that any Drupal site will stick with the basic configuration options that come with Drupal out of the box. The remainder of this course will show you how to customize your Drupal configuration and build your specific site to the parameters that you need to deliver your content. Thanks for watching this O'Reilly training video. If you'd like more information on this topic, click on Learn More. Don't forget to subscribe to the O'Reilly Video Training YouTube channel for more tutorials, and be sure to like us on Facebook.